Hi, I'm Seamless, and this is another Hot Synth. I was supposed to be doing a 75k right now, but I just couldn't get any of them, so we're doing just some sound. This is uh, this sound. The name of the game is to make some kind of like horror, screechy, like mm, scratchy metal sounds, and I was working on a score to a TV show. Well, not really a TV show. It's uh, actually it's out there now. It's on the Escapist. It's called Natural Twenty. I do the music for it, and uh, the director wanted uh, some sort of like horror soundtrack, and he actually re referred me to uh, the Perot episode of um, Cabo Bebop. If you listen to that. They're, what they're actually doing is that they're scraping cymbals in, in the, like, orchestra cymbals. And if you just, like, rub a drumstick on the cymbal at just the right speed, it starts to do this resonant thing, and it sounds kind of like this. Now, somewhere, I know I actually have samples of, of that, but I couldn't find them, so I was like, whatever, I guess I'll just make it. And you can do that pretty easily with Harbor. So let's actually start from scratch, because this is pretty simple. Um... Start off with a saw wave. You can use a saw wave or you can use a square wave. I like using a square wave for this. Square harmonics, that is, the square harmonic series. And uh, then you get yourself a, a band pass. And you buy it pretty thin. And then you distort it, teensy bit. A little bit of, um, like doing this lets you mix in a bit of the dry in there as well. Want some of that in there. And then you want to use the prism. Um, it doesn't particularly matter what or like how, what settings or whatever you use for the prism, but just the idea that you want the harmonics to be all screwed up. And then doing that gets you the sort of metallic feel of it all. Use it more, more so than I did a second ago. And then, you know, delay, reverb, just like all the reverb, just like a lot of it, a little bit of compression. And, like... and then I also turned on um, the actual volume uh, envelope. So the fun part about this is because we're using the band pass, if you play different notes, like you'll get different harmonic series because the, the band pass isn't necessarily following the note. You can have it follow the note if you want, but different notes and different band pass positions will get you different, like, kind of states of metal sounds. And you play it high enough with low enough sound with the high enough density of harmonics, you get kind of not that sound anymore. But so you want to stick around kind of the fundamentals to get the fundamental tone. It's down there somewhere. To get like that kind of sound. Um, I also kind of liked the result of this sound when it used, um, if you used Valhalla Shimmer, although I'm not sort of officially including this in the, uh, in the version of the sound just because... Um, not a lot of people have this, but it, it has a particular function where it screws around with the pitch of the, the, the reverb with the feedback. And that's just super creepy sounding. So if you're into that kind of stuff, this is sort of your bag. But anyway... That's the sound for today. Really simple, really short. Just wanted to do an easy thing because I was just bad at doing 75Ks. And I'm almost done with them. And oh my god, when I'm done with them, I'm never doing that again. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to give you the sound, though, because I, I literally just made it in front of you, and it's like four steps. But if you have any questions about it, please let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all the good stuff. And as usual, have a nice day.